Hello everyone! Para sa video na to, we will be talking about a word problem involving hyperbola. The hyperbolic representation of a tower shown below can be modeled by Ang equation natin is x squared over 16 minus y squared over 225 is equal to 1. We have to find the width of the tower at the narrowest point in the middle and also kailangan din natin hanapin yung width at the top of the tower. Tignan muna natin yung ating illustration sa yung ating equation. We have our building here. Tapos ang equation natin is x squared over 16 minus y squared over 225 is equal to 1. Kung mapapansin natin yung hyperbola natin, it is opening towards the right and towards the left. Ibig sabihin yung transverse axis natin ay horizontal or pahiga. And then kung titignan natin yung ating equation, walang ibang kasamang number yung ating x saka yung y. Kaya masasabi natin base dun sa observations natin na yung hyperbola natin has an equation of x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. This is the standard equation of a hyperbola with horizontal transverse axis and center at the origin. Kaya dito sa ating illustration, we can let this be our center. Nasa origin siya at 0, 0. Tapos ang transverse axis natin is horizontal, this yellow line. Ngayon, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay yung width kung gana do kalapad yung narrowest point in the middle. Kaya ang hahanapin natin ay etong distansya na to. Kaya ang kukunin natin ay yung point kung saan tumama yung ating transverse axis sa hyperbola dito tsaka dito sa kabilang point na to. At etong dalawang points na to, ito yung ating vertex, vertex 1 and then vertex 2 kung saan natin nakikita yung pagbabago ng direction ng ating hyperbola. Now, our approach para makuha yung buong distance nito ay gagamitin natin yung ating equation para makuha yung distansya sa pagitan ng center at nung vertex natin. And as a concept, when it comes to hyperbola, ang distansya sa pagitan ng center at nung vertex kapag tinignan natin yung ating standard equation is just equal to a. Kaya kukunin lang natin yung a no ating standard equation at makukuha na natin yung distansya na nandito. Kaya with that, tignan natin yung ating given equation tapos ikumpara natin siya sa standard equation ng ating hyperbola. Ang kailangan lang natin ay yung value ng ating a. Kaso nga lang, meron tayong exponent na 2. Kaya kung titignan natin yung denominator ng x squared, in this case 16, kailangan natin magkaroon ng exponent. Kaya para makapagproduce tayo ng 2 na to, kunin lang natin yung square root ng 16. So working here, we have x squared over ang square root ni 16, this is just 4, kaya our denominator will become 4 squared. Kaso nga lang, nakuha na natin yung form na nasa standard equation, ang value ng a natin is just equal to 4. Kaya with that, using our standard equation, nalaman natin na yung distansya between our center and vertex is just equal to 4. In the same way, dahil vertex din naman yung nasa kabila, ang pagitan din, nung ating center at vertex 2 is also equal to 4. Kaya sa total, kapag pinag-add natin itong dalawang distansya na to, yung lapad nung narrowest point in the middle of our tower, this is just equal to 8, our unit is in meters. So bago natin isulat yung ating sagot, kumpletuhin muna natin yung ating standard equation. This is minus y squared over, same process, kailangan natin na exponent na 2, kaya kunin din natin yung square root ni 225. And that is just equal to 15 and then raised to 2. Same right side, this is still equal to 1. Then with that, isulat na natin yung distance natin which is 8 meter. The width of the tower at the narrowest point in the middle is, as we have computed, 8 meters. Ito na yung una na pinapahanap sa atin. For our second one, as we go back here, pinapahanap din yung width at the top of the tower. Kung gano'n naman kahaba etong part na to. Ang problema natin for this one is wala tayong direct equivalent sa ating standard equation na makakapagsabi kung gano'n kahaba etong area na to. Kaya tignan natin yung additional na given natin dito, yung height ng tower which is 160 meters. For this one, ang titignan natin na reference point ay yung ating center. 
Kasi kapag umakit tayo from our center, makakarating tayo dito sa point na to. Kung titignan natin yung ating movement, gumalaw tayo towards our positive y-axis. And ilang units yung inakit natin? Since ang buo natin na height is 160 meters, tapos etong point na to ay nasa center, ibig sabihin, etong distance na inakit natin from the center up to this point ay kalahati lang nung buong height natin na 160. Kaya we have our height mula sa taas ng tower hanggang sa center, kalahati nung ating 160 that is just in 80 meters. Kaya this point, etong nasa taas, wala tayong movement towards our x-axis, so this is still at 0, pero umakit tayo ng 80 units towards our y-axis. Next, kailangan nating malaman yung coordinates nitong point na to, kasi ito yung dulo ng ating tower. Ngayon, ang movement naman natin ay towards our x-axis, pero wala tayong ginagalaw sa ating y-coordinate. Kaya this point, this is just equal to x, and then, same y-coordinate of 80. Bakit importante yung point na to? Kasi kapag ka nakuha natin yung x na to, malalaman natin yung distansya mula sa gitna ng top ng tower natin hanggang dito sa dulo. And then kapag ka nakuha natin yung distance niya, that is also the same dito sa kabila na to. Then makukuha na natin yung buong distansya ng top ng tower natin. So how do we solve this? Kung titignan natin itong point na to na x80, siya ay part ng ating hyperbola. Kaya gagamitin natin yung ating standard equation na nandito to get our x, isasubstitute lang natin yung value ng ating y which is 80 dito sa ating standard equation. After we substitute 80 dito, then we solve for the value of our x. Now let us proceed with our computation. Kopyahin natin yung ating equation na nandito. We have our x squared over 4 squared minus Yung y natin, papalitan natin siya ng 80. So, this becomes 80 squared over 15 squared. And this is equal to 1. Then, to solve for the value of our x, since etong part na to, kaya na natin siya i-compute ng calculator, pwede natin siyang ilipat dun sa kabila. From negative, that will become positive. Kaya ito ay magiging x squared over. Yung 4 squared natin, that is just 16, is equal to 1. Then, this will become plus 80 squared over 15 squared. Then, gamit na tayo ng calculator dito. Kopihin muna natin yung ating left side. We have our x squared over 16 is equal to 1 plus yung 80 squared over 15 squared. That is equal to 28.4444. Kapag mag-round off tayo to 4 decimal places. Then this is still x squared over 16 is equal to, i lang natin yung ating 1. So this will become 29.4444. Then kapag nandito na tayo sa part ng ating equation, ang kailangan lang natin kunin ay yung value ng ating x. Pero meron pa tayong 16 sa ating denominator. Kaya para mawala siya, let us multiply both sides of our equation by 16. Kaya yung left side natin, 16 divided by 16 is just 1 times x squared, magiging x squared na lang siya. And then this is equal to 29.4444 times 16. This is equal to 471.1104. And then to get the value of our x, meron tayong exponent na 2. Kaya para matanggal siya, let us get the square root nung both sides ng ating equation. The square root of x squared, this is just equal to x and then ang square root ng 471.1104 is equal to 21.7051. This is the value of our x. Tandaan na natin siya as we go back dun sa ating illustration. Yung coordinate ng dulo ng ating tower, the value of our x is 21.7051. That is also the distance between this point and then dito sa ating dulo. Since kalahati lang siya, para makuha natin yung buong width ng ating top ng tower, kailangan natin siyang i-multiply by 2. So we compute dito sa baba, para makuha natin yung twice ng ating x, 2x is just equal to 2 times, yung nakuha natin na value na 21.7051. And this is just equal to, 
Now we can conclude our problem. Pwede nating masabi that from our computation, the width at the top of the tower is equal to 43.4102. Our unit is in meters. This is our final answer. And this is how we apply the equation of air parabola to solve our word problem. Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!